Hello students, hello viewers. Welcome to Senior College Mathematics. The topic of discussion is number-based system. If you are in senior college, if you are preparing for WAYEC, for NECO, for GC, for NAPTE, for JAM, or any other external or entrance examinations into high school, this topic, this lesson is for you. Lesson 1 introduction and expanded notation let us begin this series of teachings by looking at the introductory parts of it number bases are referred to as the system of counting numbers in various ways of endeavor as it suits our day-to-day -day dealings like time you have days weeks month years etc a system of counting numbers in various ways of endeavor as it suits you in person Take for instance the electric bulb. The, the design is to base two in the sense that if it is one, you have switch on. If it is zero, you have switch off. So to the designer of the electric bulb, the best base to use is base two because it's a two-way device. This is what we are talking about as it best suits you in person. Some special names given to some number bases are as follows. We have binary is base 2, quinary base 5, altar base 8, dinary or decimal base 10, dual decimal, base 12, hexadecimal, base 16. Numbers from base 10 to 15 are represented by capital letters A to F as A is equal to 10, B equal to 11, C equal to 12, D is 13, E is 14, and F is 15, respectively. This is the conventional notation for each of the above bases and is regarded as single digit in the hexadecimal scale. We are going to explain this when we look at the table below. The table below shows the summary of different bases and number of digits. So let us take a look at the table. This is the table. We have number bases, digits, and numbers involved. So we have base 2 binary two digits zero and one we have base three binary three digits zero two two that is zero one two we have other base numbers let's look at seven septenary it has seven digits zero to six that is zero one two three four five six we have altar nonary then we have a dinary or decimal that is base 10 base 10 has 10 digits from zero to nine we have base 12 do decimal it has 12 digits from zero to b but we have digit for 0 to 9. Now, 
a represents 10 but if we should write it as 10 some students might take it as 1 0 thereby considering it as two digit but remember we said that each number is a single digit to avoid that mistake of taking a 10 as two digit we use letters to represent number as from 10 and above so that it can be seen as a single digit we have base 16 hexadecimal it has 16 digits from 0 to 9 then from 10 to 15 you have a b c d e f notes it is possible to use any number as a base in building a numeral system i gave example of the electric bulb so as it best suit you you use any number of your choice the thing is that the number of digits used in the system is always equal to the base take for instance base 5 base 5 has 5 digits 0 to 4 so what we are saying is that the numbers involved in base 5 must be 5 that is 0 1 2 3 4 that is the meaning but the base of a particular base the number base of a particular base is excluded or the highest digit of any base is always one less than the base as shown in the table let's go back to base 5 again the highest number in base 5 ought to be 1 but we are saying that that highest number is always 1 less so you have 5 minus 1 is equal to 4 that is another way of saying that base 5 has 5 digits from 0 to 4 because the highest number 5 is always 1 less are you following the next concept is expanded notation every decimal number that is number to be 10 say s can be expressed uniquely in the form so this is the form any number that can be expressed in this form it's said to be written in expanded notation what you must note here is that the use of 10 tells us the position of each digit in the place value system more examples will help us to get this concept clearly a number system to base p where p is a positive integer is a system consisting of digits zero of course you know it start from zero so for example if p is base 4 or let's say yes if p is base 4 you're going to run from 0 to 3 digit and so on and so on are you following examples express the following in expanded notation form example 1 we have 4 5 0 7 8 so this is the number to be expanded in 
notation form so let's get the position of each digit eight is unit seven is tens zero is hundred five is thousand then four is tens of thousand is tens of thousand okay so we now expand so this tens of thousand for four simply means you multiply four by ten thousand then five times one thousand because the position of five is thousand plus zero times one hundred plus seven times ten plus eight times one what actually produce this one is 10 power 0 because we because we we have that the base 10 is common or true so for us to have the base 10 common to each digit we have to express one the position for unit a single number as 10 power 0 so for us to have base 10 or true we 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 express 10000 1100 in terms of base and power so for 10000 you have 10 power 4 that is 4 zero so we have 4 times 10 power 4 plus 5 times 10 power 3 plus 0 times 10 power 2 plus 7 times 10 power 1 plus 8 times 10 power 0 so this is expanded notation example 2 you have 350 so in 350 0 is units 5 is tens 3 is hundred so you have 3 times hundred expressed as 10 square plus 5 times 10 that can be written as 10 power 1 plus 0 times 1 that can be written as 10 power 0 10 power 0 is 1 that is the unit position so this is another expanded notation for 350 example 3 we have 0 0.000321 so this is the number to be written in expanded notation decimal points to the left are whole numbers and to the right are decimal so this zero is to the left that is just units then the other zeros to the right they are the decimal parts so after unit the first zero the position is 10 that is 1 over 10 so the th attached to 10 t e n t h in the case that that number is in the decimal part so this is 10 this is 100 this is 1000 and so on so we have 0 times 1 that is for the unit plus this becomes 0 times 10 1 over 10 the next 0 is 1 is 0 times 1 over 100 that is 100 1 over 100 the next 0 is 0 times 1 over 1000 that is thousand the next digit is 3 times 1 over 10,000 the next digit is 2 times 1 over 100,000 and the last digit is 1 times 1 over 1 million that is millions 1 over 1 million so to continue we we express in base 10 where we have one here 
as 0 times 10 power 0 0 times 10 power 0 then plus 0 times 10 to the power of minus 1 this is what happen you have 1 over 10 that you can express in negative form from negative index the power here is 1 if you take 10 power 1 up the power changes from negative from positive to negative so if you have 1 over 100 you express it as 1 over 10 square 1 over 10 square when 10 square goes up the power changes from neg from positive to negative that is what happened to all when you come here 1 over 1 million is expressed as 10 to the power of 6 when it goes up it becomes 10 to the power of minus 6 so we have plus 0 times 10 to the power of minus 2 plus 0 times 10 to the power of minus 3 plus 3 times 10 to the power of minus 4 plus 2 times 10 to the power of minus 5 plus 1 times 10 to the power of minus 6 so that is the expanded notation example 4 we have 3 1 5 point zero one four this number is decimal you have the whole part and the decimal part the whole number part you have digit three one five five is unit one is tens and three is hundreds then this zero is tens one over ten this one is hundred, one over hundred, and four is thousand, one over thousand. So we have three times one hundred expressed as ten square, plus one times ten expressed as ten power one, plus five times one that is expressed as ten power zero is one, then plus. 0 times 1 over 10 that is 10 to the power of minus 1 plus 1 times 1 over 100 that is 1 over 10 square expressed as 10 to the power of minus 2 plus 4 times 1 over 1000 expressed as 1 over 10 cube it becomes power of minus 3 that is 4 times 10 to the power of minus 3 so we have this as another expanded notation example 5 if you express one whole number 1 over 2 in expanded notation it is a mixed fraction you convert to improper fraction you have 3 over 2 to decimal fraction 1.5 so 1 is units and 5 is tenths so we have 1 times 1 that one becomes 10 to the power of 0 plus 5 times 1 over 10 then the, the 10 then the power is 1 so when 10 comes up it becomes power of minus 1 so we have plus 5 times 10 to the power of minus 1 example 6 you have a 9 4 6 3 1 3 this is like previous example where 3 is units 1 is tenths 3 is hundreds 6 is thousand as thousand 4 is tens of thousand 9 is hundred of thousands 100,000 has 5 zeros so we have 9 times 10 to the power of 5 plus 4 times
10,000 expressed as 10 to the power of 4 plus 6 times 1,000 expressed as 10 to the power of 3 plus 3 times 100 expressed as 10 power 2 plus 1 times 10 expressed as 10 to the power of 1 plus 3 times 1 expressed as 10 to the power of 0. So this is another expanded notation. Hello. End of lesson 1. Thanks for watching and learning. Don't forget, watch out for more from the voice of Peter Cos. Lastly, if you are not saved, your life is in crisis. To avoid that, you give your life to the one that can save you, and that is the Lord Jesus Christ, and you confess him as your Lord and personal Savior every day of your life. If you are saved already, I tell you big congratulations. Live righteously and be prepared because on the last day, some will be taken and some will be left. Take good care of yourself. Stay out of trouble. Study your books. Do the needful at all times. Flee every appearance of evil. Don't defraud others to make money. Use your hands and your brain to work genuinely and the Lord will bless you. Goodbye.